Good morning, everyone. Last week, I was talking about bringing attention to habits we might want to change. And we can do this by remembering the mindful traffic lights to bring a pause. And this pause brings awareness so that we can make a choice about what to do next. Hopefully choosing a path that will be more kind to ourselves and others. So this week, I'm going to talk about worries. So we all have worries from time to time. And some of us might have been worrying a bit more than usual at the moment. So today I'm going to be introducing a mini mindfulness activity that you can have a go at um, to help you when you're facing challenging emotions during the week. Worrying about things can become a habit which isn't very helpful. Sometimes we can get lost in a worrying thought. It can feel like we've got completely tangled up in it and find it hard to let go. Going over the same thing again and again in our mind it's a bit like a snowball rolling down a hill. It picks up speed and gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And before we know it, it can feel like we're completely overwhelmed by an avalanche of snow. In meditation, we can practice noticing our thoughts as they arise and choose to let go of them, instead of letting ourselves get all tangled up in them. We do this by bringing our mind back to the present moment, using our body and the breath as an anchor. By doing this, we strengthen this muscle of attention, which helps us to get better at untangling ourselves from our thoughts and being able to let them pass by like clouds in the sky. When we're not tangled up in our worries and overwhelmed by them like the avalanche, it means we're able to ski down the mountain more easily and navigate all of the twists and turns that we encounter. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your own energy slime which can help you when you're feeling a bit stressed or worried. What you'll need is some corn flour, a bowl, water, a spoon, and some optional food colouring. First, put a few heaped tablespoons of the corn flour into a bowl. Then add just a little bit of water and mix with a spoon until you have a thick paste. If it feels too runny, then add some more corn flour. It should start to feel a bit harder to mix. Add some food colouring if you want your slime to be a different colour and mix it in with the spoon. You'll only need a small drop. Now, this is the fun part. You can test it out using your hands, trying to pick up a lump of the slime. If it's too runny, you may need to add some more corn flour. And there you have it, your very own energy slime. Notice what happens when I squeeze the slime. Notice how it reacts. When you squeeze it with energy, it becomes almost solid. When you release, look how it softens again and trickles away like a liquid. Practice some mindful movement with your slime, breathing in as you squeeze it and breathing out as you release it. Imagine your worries softening and releasing as you feel the slime slipping through your fingers. Keep bringing attention to the sensations of the slime in your fingers and how it changes. The corn flour does not dissolve in the water. It creates a suspension called a non-Newtonian fluid. Corn flour consists of billions of tiny particles of starch. When water is added, the liquid flows around each starch grain, making the mixture runny by helping the particles to slip over each other. When a sudden large force is applied, like the squeeze from your hand, the starch grains jam together, squeezing some of the water out from between them. Without the water, the particles can't slide past each other and so the mixture starts to behave like a solid. However, these effects are only temporary. As soon as the force is removed and the mixture is allowed to relax, the water surrounds each of the particles again and the mixture becomes runny once more. Remember petal practice, which we've learnt at school? This is a great little exercise that you can practice anytime, anywhere. Simply follow your breath with the movement of the hand, opening the fingers like the petals of a flower. You could breathe in as you close the flower and breathe out as you open it, letting go of your worries as you breathe out. You may want to try it the other way around, breathing in as the hand expands and breathing out as you close the fingers. Try both and see which you prefer.
This week's home practice challenge is to have a go at the petal practice meditation by using the movement of opening and closing the hand to follow the breath whenever you feel you need a pause. You can also have a go at making the energy slime to use as a tool to help you to let go of some of your worries.